now uh, we have Barbara to present her drush for us today. I'll go, we'll go ahead and give you the room here. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. This portion chronicles the call of Avraham to leave his homeland of Ur. He takes his wife Sarai, nephew Lot, and all their possessions. In Genesis 12, 7, then Adonai appeared to Avraham and said, I will give this land to your seed. Avraham then built an altar in Moray and Bethel. This portion also includes a sojourn into Egypt where Avraham deceived Pharaoh, then to a lightning quick raid of the enemies of Sodom and Gomorrah when Lot is in a hostage situation. From there, it goes to the birth of Ishmael by Hagar to a covenant being made between Adonai and Avraham. We also see the name change of Avraham to Abraham and Sarai's name to Sarah. This portion then ends with the circumcision of Abraham and his male members of his household and his male servants. There was a lot going on in this portion. Um, I mean, it could really be a movie if you kind of think about it. The title of this portion, Fleke Fleka, means to go out, go for yourself, go out for yourself, go forth, get out. We see the command Adonai gave Abraham in the scripture below, Genesis 12, 1 through 3. Then Adonai said to Abraham, get going out from your land and from your relatives and from your father's house to the land that I will show you. My heart's desire is to make you into a great nation, to bless you, to make your name great so that you may be a blessing. My desire is to bless those who bless you, but whoever curses you I will curse and in all the families of the world, they will be blessed. Can you imagine how Avraham, Sarai, and Lot may have felt the emotions that it may have invoked? To leave behind the comfort of their homeland that they all knew, not knowing what laid ahead of them and what they might encounter along the way. The obedience and courage that was required to carry out the instructions from Adonai. One word, word comes to my mind, and that is faith. Avraham had great faith and trusted in Adonai. Adonai called and Avraham responded with obedience, faith, and trust. That all his needs would be provided along the way from food, water, shelter, and protection. So what is faith? It's very complex and requires trust and confidence in someone or something that it's, you can't see and is not tangible. Adonai is asking Avraham to take a huge step of faith. There is no plan or step-by-step -step instructions. There is no roadmap for him to follow. Adonai simply said, leave everything and go. Go now, go until you hear otherwise. <sighs> Just give me a minute. Adonai gave Abraham a great promise, but that promise was not immediate. The promise sounded really, really great, but there had to be faith to get to that promise. As believers in Yeshua, we have our own leke leke that can be found in the following scripture. Matthew 28, 18 through 20. Yeshua came and talked with him. He said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make people from all nations into Taladim, immersing them into the reality of the Father, the Son, and the Ruach, Ruach HaKadosh, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I will be with you always, yes, until the e even to the end of age. So, to go forth and spread his word. The question I often have had and battled with is, well, where do I go and what do I do? That brings me to the necessity of hearing Adonai when he calls. Abraham listened and heard the call, and Adonai wants to speak to us, and he wants us to step out for him. Yes, occasionally, actually most of the time, it's going to take us beyond our comfort level. I'm not comfortable here right now, guys. I'm shaking like a leaf. I'm not comfortable. He wants us to take risks for his glory and good. He wants us to be willing. Faith sometimes, more often than not, has us take steps that don't make sense. And at point, they seem impossible. Faith says to follow Adonai when it makes no sense at all. Have you ever had your own leke leke moment when you knew that 
added I was calling you to do something, or even within yourself to draw you closer to him and to know his truth. Personally, I remember when he opened my eyes to the messianic walk and beliefs. It made me uncomfortable. The Hebrew words and prayers scared me. The customs of Shabbat were hard to embrace. I was comfortable where I was at, but honestly, I was a lukewarm Christian, and we all know that's not a good place to be at. I was not gleaning any new information or learning any truths. Questions I had were glazed over, not answered, and I definitely was not growing in my relationship with my Lord and Savior. Since completely stepping out of mainstream Christianity and letting the past be in the past, I have moved forward with a truth I never knew, an understanding that of scripture that is seen throughout the Bible. My time and relationships are so much richer now. I tr thoroughly embrace Shabbat, lighting the candles on Shabbat, saying the blessings and welcoming the day. It's both beautiful and peaceful. Some mornings and throughout the day, I find myself humming a tune from our liturgy. I understand the beauty of the prayers and the words on a much personal level. But I had to step out and I had to listen. He put wonderful people in my path to help me do that. Each day I find it easier to share my walk with others, proclaiming Adonai's glory and abundant love, and explaining the hard parts of our walk that is hard to understand. But my walk has just begun, and I know that, and it won't be easy. There will be, and there has been, lost relationships and friendships. I can't see the full picture, but I will walk in faith and truth and try my best to respond to my call, my leke leke. So what is your call? What are you being asked to do? Is it something internal you need to take care of? Whatever it is, take the time to listen and respond to his call. He will lead, provide, and protect you along the way. In my case, he led me to a wonderful new family, a mishpatim, that shows so much love for me and my family, and so much patience for me to learn as I learn these new truths and traditions. Imagine if Abraham did not respond to his call. What would have happened? Fortunately, he took his steps on a journey that would result in the vast and astonishing progression of the Jewish people across human history. Shabbat Shalom.